Hello, Brian Bud Jorgensen with Bud's Equipment Sales. Today we're going to go over a super cooling fan. It's the M703 Cool, and this is our best selling model. It's our biggest model that runs on 115 volt and also has the most features. I'm going to go inside but while we're out here. This um, cooling pads we had to remove one so I can kind of show you inside it and see the quality of the product. But um, first of all, before we go in, this has coated pads, gives it more strength, and also allows for the particles not to stick to the cooling pads they just go sliding down into the water and then obviously when you drain it um, what you require to do about every three to four days to keep the water clean so it doesn't build up a sludge that messes up your water pump um, anyways as we come in here one of the cool features that is an option now that the fan company has added which is a big um, thing for us as they've added a UV light into the water plumbing, and as you can see here, it circulates through. So what this has, and we'll show you how this little indicator light works when we're on the fan. But this has a light that actually shows it when it's running. But what's cool is, is this runs through the plumbing system and down through the cooling pads. So what's doing is um, trapping those germs in the air into the water, and then the water passes through here and kills them. And the fact we developed this for, so these fans could be used in restaurants and um, other applications similar to that to kill the germs in the air. <clears throat> now I'm going to go ahead and show you um, the light. And this is how it's mounted to the plumbing. Now you got the indicator light showing that's on. And if you can kind of see over here, hopefully my hand doesn't block it, it has a proximity switch right here on a floater. So when this is full of water, it floats and turns the water pump on. But if it's out of water, it turns the water pump off. Why that's important um, is if the tank is dry like our competitors have, is if they don't they don't have that feature is you're gonna burn a water pump up and it's costly and it takes time to replace. Um, another feature is, is we have a float valve. So we hook a hose up to this and if um, when it gets full of water, it go ahead and shuts that off for you so you don't have to sit there and turn your faucet on and off. It actually will do that for you. And coming up here, you can see our um, F-grade sealed motor. Um, kind of history on that. This fan manufacturer actually first started building motors and they're industrial motors for lathes and mills. Um, so you get a very good, high quality electric motor. It's kind of it's a good thing to point out on this. And you can see this got a four post design, very strong, good support system, and the fan blade also. See how strong that is? It's mounted and it's also precision balanced. As um, far as I know, I think we're the one, only ones that actually precision balance our fan blades. Why that's important is it's quieter for one, but also if it's not balanced, it's going to vibrate, it's going to take bearings out in your motor. So two critical things for durability. And also back here, you can kind of see this is stainless. And that's one thing I'd point out too is, is we use non-corrosive materials on our fans, so ours don't rust or corrode. Um, this is stainless and it has little catchers, so it actually catches wind and shoots it forward for you. And, it, um, and this fan blade, kind of like a bolt repeller. It catches the air smoothly and pulls it further instead of being a long, thin blade. So very well designed and thought out fan. And these, we always send a quick connect, so you can just leave it on the end of your hose. Quick connect it, fill your fa um, fan full of water, obviously disconnect it and push it where you need to and use the water off your tank, or you just leave it connected and obviously just let it fill and, and run as it needs. So now I'm going to turn it on and watch it fill real quick. Just showing that ours has a sight glass. So you can tell where your water level is. So you can see where, you know, it's filling right now, but now all the way up to here would be full, obviously. So as if you had it off a, a water connection, you could see when you need to go fill it again by just looking at your fan. Okay, well that's filling. We'll go ahead and put the cooling pad back in. lining them up. Okay, just put the middle pad back in. Before I install the retainer, um, I wanted to show you how the water sprays down on the cooling pads. Okay, here in a second I'll start pumping up through and it kind of sprays equally down through our cooling pads, just so you can see that.
Ice cube entrance has actually been a really good feature and a lot of people have enjoyed this. You can actually take a tray of ice or blocks of ice and dump them into the water, giving it that extra cooling feature on our fans. And just while we're back here, you can actually see the light showing that the UV light is working, killing the germs in the air. So. I'm gonna go over the control panel on this fan now. This is your e-stop. You can see when it's off, it's got a light indicating there's power to the fan. We always wanna turn our water pump on first to wet our cooling pads for a couple minutes. Uh, we've already done that. And then we turn our fan blade on. And this right here is our fan blade speed. And this is a variable speed fan. It's got an inverter, so you can change the speeds through the motor. And a lot of people ask me, how noisy is this fan? I'm gonna turn it all the way up. And all you really can hear, you don't hear any rattling on the fan, you actually just hear the wind passing through. So a very quiet fan, and that comes to being that fan blade being precision balanced and directly mounted to the motor. So, and just wind it back down. And what makes this fan the best seller is this cool feature here we're gonna demonstrate is, you can see right here, this right here has power shutters. So now, we'll come over here, you can actually see that these start oscillating. So you got a left and right direction that these louvers are moving your wind. So this will hit more area in a shop. When you put it in a corner of a shop, obviously you're getting a pass through through your whole shop because of this design. And this is a patented design that only the super cooling fans offers. But once again, you can tell it is a lower RPM, but it's very quiet. But you can also see the really smooth airflow. You don't see this bouncing around. It just has really smooth airflow through this fan and very quiet.